Hi, I'm Martin Cook of Hitech Systems with an introduction to our production control system called Avita. This short video will cover our gearbox application. When the Avita system is started, the user is presented with this screen. To the left we have power, exit to operating system, but settings. This allows you to sort out the servers that are connected and so on very easily, very quickly, very comprehensive menus, very clear. Once we set the system up, we again go into one of the applications, in this case Gearbox. And there's the Gearbox screen. This is the general purpose play and record system, but a number of common features apply to this and the other applications that we have. For example here, it takes me back to where we've just been and to exit the system as required. Incidentally, when you leave this screen and go to setups or another application, all the configurations, playlists and clips are stored and are stored dynamically. You never have to save them. You can even power down and return to exactly where you left it. We're using four channels today, but we can easily and clearly display up to 16 channels. Channel 1 I've set to be a recorder. Channel 2, and it's now in control of Channel 2, it's highlighted in blue, is an automation channel. Channel 3, a shot box channel. And channel 4, automation, but the entire list is looped. And you can change the performance of all these very, very easily. Now we're going back to this one. First clip is queued up. It's queuing play. In automation mode, we also have a timeline which shows proportionally the length of the clips and where we are in that playlist. While that, that's playing out, I can go to channel 3, I can choose a clip, it cues, and it plays. Alternatively, I can use this transport panel to stop the clip, to jog it, to mark in and mark out. Recording-wise, if I go to channel 1 again, I can create a clip. I can name the clip. change its duration, create the clip and start recording. Now over here we have the list of clips on the server and you can see the one I've just uh, started recording is being created, it's highlighted in red. If I want to transfer that to one of the play channels I can select a play channel, double click it and it appears, or I can simply drag it into another channel. Lastly, the various timecode displays which are fairly self-evident and there's some additional setups here behind this panel to customize the performance of the playlist or individual clips. That, in a nutshell, is a Vita Gearbox.